floating almost upright. Okay. What's the denominator? Zero or one? Huh? One degree. One degree. Starboard. 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 Now she is even killed. Sorry, uh, zero degrees. Okay, yes, zero degrees. Okay, she is floating upright. Everything is all right. Now what I am doing now? I am going to demonstrate the effect of negative GM. Negative GM. I am going to load some four heavy weights on deck. On deck. Now two of you go there. Put one stone here, one stone here, one stone here, and one stone. Slowly. Simultaneously, don't do it together. No, in the book, you are thinking about it. Here, 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 Okay. Now, what has happened now? Ship tilting on. Is it side. listed as starboard or is it angle of roll? It could be less or it could be angle of load. It cannot be less because equal weights on port and starboard. Okay. Equal weights on port and starboard. So it is an angle of load. In fact, ship is lowered so much. She is capsizing. She is capsizing. capsizing here. Just see here, the bottom. The ship is already touching the bottom on the starboard side. On the starboard, starboard side. side. Now, let us say there is a small wave. Okay. Any small force. Even if a cadet is standing on the starboard side and being, that will give a reaction. Okay. That reaction is enough. Just watch here. I am just putting a small force. Now the ship has gone to the other side. Other side. Capsizing on the other side. Normally it will it settle down at an angle of load. At a angle, angle of, of load. load. That angle of load will be more than 20 degrees. Though theoretically all your stability calculation may show angle of load 6 degrees, 8 degrees, 9 degrees, practically it is not possible. It is not possible. possible. If you really look at the Underwater volume geometry of ships, angle of load will be very large, very large. large. If you are lucky, you will settle down at an angle of load with negative GM. If you are not lucky, ship will capsize. Ship will capsize. Like it happened in Calcutta three days back, the Kanini ship completely she started capsizing and fortunately settled down at angle of load. Angle of loads have been measured up to almost 55 degrees. 55 degrees. Now, let's say, just re-demonstrate. In the filter, the the Re-demonstrate and push. A wave is pushing the ship from port to stop. Okay. Right, right. Now what's happening? Ship is sent down on this side. Same weights, port and starboard, everything is the same. Ship is Oscillating about angle of load. Oscillating about angle, angle of, of load. A very dangerous situation. Very dangerous. And now all of you go and draw a GZ curve. And where the GZ curve goes below zero and rises up, determine the angle of load for any kind of condition. You can use Subra's book or direct Zara's. Any book. Do some examples. Come here and demonstrate. Come here and demonstrate. Now let us just see, I am lowering the GM. GM. But this is a very heavy weight. I am just lowering the GM. On the pinna, Put it down, put it down here, put it down here. Even down, the more down, more down. down. Okay. Let us see if ship has obtained a positive. 
No, she is still got an angle of load, but she is not touching the bottom. She is not touching, touching the, bottom. the bottom. Now, no, this is this GM to be shifters. Ah, correct. No, that is all right. She has not got a negative GM now. Yes, sir. Okay. She is almost <coughs> very small positive GM. This is because these two stones are little more heavy than those two stones must be. Okay. Maybe it's tilting the ship, but ship is becoming upright. Ship is? Very slowly she is becoming upright and tilting to starboard. This is not angular flow, this is bliss because this weight. Now move the stone there, move the stone. Interchange the stones. Now ship is listing to board. Ship is listing to this is not angular flow. I'm moving the ship. Wave has pushed the ship to starboard, but ship will go to port and settle down. Angle of list. Yes. Angle of list. Yes. Now move this weights upwards. Come back to original groups. Come here. Oral pin head. Oral pin head. As high as possible. Hey, scared of water, Sammy. Listing to port or angle of load to port? Angle of load. We'll see. She is maybe listing. Now, wave is coming and pushing the ship. Now, she is now settled on this side. She did not go back. She did not go back. Go back. It's an angle of load. Ship's catch size, either due to cargo shifting or due to liquefaction of cargo. Causing a virtual loss in GM. Virtual loss in GM. GM. Or iron ore, concentrate, and all this. And these are real things. Almost every year, three ships develop Sinking. either capsizing or angle of roll because of liquefaction of bulk. Liquefaction of bulk. Go and do some studies. Go to CHIRP, C H I R P, CHIRP, Maritime. It's a fantastic website. It gives you not only case studies, but also near misses. Near misses means? Ship staff report, ah, luckily the ship did not capsize. God was kind to me. I had a near collision. Luckily, God saved me, we did not have a collision. But it should have been a collision. It was only God saved. Those are called near misses. So near misses reports are more important for learning than actual case studies. May will give you actual case studies. Chirp for time will give you near miss case studies and also actual case studies. Both these websites, Nautical Institute, MAIB, and CHIRP, CHIRP, very time, at least weekly once, go to those websites. Go to those websites, you'll learn a lot. A good man learns from others' experience. Understand, not by his experience. Well, not by his experience. Now, one more demonstration. See whether it's an angle of load or what. We have is pushing from starboard side. One of you push from starboard side. We have pushed it, leave it, leave it, it will go there, automatically it will go there. You understand? And she is actually capsizing, you see the deck? Yes, Here it's come, it is touching, yes, actually. Yes, okay, yes. now together remove the stones, bring the ship back to normal. One, two, three. Okay, bring the GM down. Oh, on the pin head, come here. One of you remove the pin. And I had given this as integrated project. I'm recording. As integrated projects, one of these experiments is this. Every group has been divided into, every class is four groups. And each group, the team leader and the group people should have to demonstrate in training experiment, trimming of the ship, and the proof of negative gene. Don't imitate what I have told. No, 
okay develop your own method develop your own yes. it needs a little bit of thinking develop your own method and you have to prove one group will be given the task of proving effect of negative gm another group will prove listing moment listing third group will prove what happens to the list it will increase or decrease when weights are not moved sideways but weights are moved up or down up or down no. that means gm is changing when gm changes the list will also change you have to prove and demonstrate okay yes, yes, it's very yes. mainly very necessary for timber carriers and other people all your calculations your computer will show shit because you are inputting shit you understand yes, or your loadicators input is shit output will be shit you have to know have knows of seamanship knows of seamanship. seamanship to know in a timber carrier or the calcutta vessel container whether the ship's gm is actually what you have calculated or is it going towards zero as is going towards zero your computer will say you got 1 meter gm but in reality you are having possibly 5 cm gm how will you know i want you guys to think on it and come back as part of the project report is it clear yes, sir. okay yes, sir. thank you thank you sir. thank you thank you, sir. Thank you.